Hello and welcome on my channel. This time I created a small video about arena fights in Mound and Blade 2 Bannerlord. Arena fights are great method for early game stage for multiple reasons. You earn renown, collect XP on some skills, like weapons, bow, horse, athletics and you can earn some really expensive trophies, like tier 6 helm, tier 6 horse, tier 5 body armor, and so on. These all are a huge boost for the start if you are successful. However, early game your character is weak, unskilled and has weak armor. One wrong move, and you are down without the rewards. Many new players struggle in 1v1 cavalry battle, 1v1 two-handed sword battles and especially 1v1 duels with a shield equipped. Still, there are some tactics that can be used to increase your winning chance. But before I share you my best detailed advice, a few words about arena mechanics. A total of 16 attendants participate in an arena fight. Participants are chosen randomly. People present in the city may be part of the fight. This can be your army units, lords staying in the given city, or even your own companions. Wounds, hits and deaths during arena fights do not apply on your campaign map values. Even if you are reduced to zero health in a round, but still advance to next round, you will start with 100% health in the next round. And you will have 100% health upon leaving the arena. However, if you have 40% health on the campaign map, you will start each round at 40% health during arena fight. So just keep this in mind. There are four fights that you will attend. Upon starting the arena fight, you can see how attendants are assigned into groups. Winners advances to the next round. There are two types of battles. When four different colored groups compete, each participant of the two winner groups advances. In case of four different colored, but solo fighters compete, the two winners advance to next stage. When only blue and red groups exists, including the dual style battles, you or your group has to win to advance. I think multicolored battles are relative easy. You just need to avoid any fight until others kill each other and only one enemy remains. This is a guaranteed step forward into next stage. You can even die during battle if you will be the second as a result. Still you can have impact on the winners. If you help kill a group with strong participants, you do not have to possible duel them later. So it is advised to still help in fights with care. Grouped battles are much harder. If your teammates die quickly, you will face multiple enemies to defeat. Therefore it is highly advised to help your teammates by luring enemy close, be the shield blocker till team finishes enemies, wait for enemy to charge and have a melee number advantage and other methods. After a couple of tries I think you will also figure these out. So once the group stages are over, it is unavoidable to participate in a duel at the fourth round. Some cases even earlier rounds include duel battles. And this is the toughest if you do not know the tricks. I would like to help in three special 1v1 fights, which caused me countless attempts in the past to win. Namely 1v1 horse fight with pole arm. 1v1 two-handed sword fight and lastly 1v1 fight while shield is equipped. Any other fight is either easy, like when you have throwing weapon or bow, or can be won the same way. So 1v1 horse fight with pole arm. My aim is weak. Especially on horse. Enemy is also fast and even if I would hit him, he blocks with shield many times. Not to mention that enemy pole arm charge attacks from horses do huge damage if they hit, and AI aims relatively good. I am in a huge disadvantage in such fights. So I had to create an own method against this. This matchup is common on sturgeon land. First step is to kill enemy horse. Face enemy, and aim low. Normally two or three face to face charges are enough. I think his charge attack is cancelled if you hit the horse, because the horse stops for a bit. 
Once enemy is on foot, get a bit further away. So he swaps sword into spear. Now the tricky part is to let enemy close, preferably next to your horse's head and start to slowly turn around. This way enemy is forced to move and has now difficulty to target you. This is the point when you can hit him. If he still manages to start a hitting move, just block with the shield. You have advantage on the horse. This method is still not perfect. If enemy is just leaning back to start the attack against you, and this is the point when your attacking spearhead is arriving, you will not be able to reach him with your spear, and you will be hit by him instead. Still forcing enemy to move makes him mostly unable to attack you and you can focus more on a perfect timing to attack. Aim head if you can, as it causes higher damage. The next fight is 1v1 two-handed weapon fight. Two-handed weapons are very strong. Without defense they are one-hit kills. So you need a proper tactics here. Best place to practice is on Batanian land. By the way, these are my favorite fights because all four stages are fast, and my method is relative safe. Almost guaranteed win. So first you need to get close to the enemy. Once on weapon reach, you can start with any type of hit. Enemy will block it 99% of the time. Now, it is important, that as soon as the two weapons meet, and you hear the blocking sound, move right, and face a bit away from enemy. I play on default settings for combat. So the attack direction is managed by my mouse move. Clicking left mouse button and moving a mouse into a direction sets the attack for that attack type, releasing the button launches the attack. So what I do here is set the attack to the right, as I am also moving and facing to the right, and just a bit later I face back to enemy and release the attack. It is either blocked or a hit. As soon as, or even a bit before, I hear the block or hit sound, I repeat the whole attack process. Turn right, set the attack, turn fast left and release. In the meantime, and this is important, I do not cancel moving right, or even right and also forward or backwards in the same time. If I move too far, and did not reach enemy, I stop moving a bit, and repeat the method. What happens is that after enemy blocks, he does not enough time to reach me with his attack, because I move away. If he does not block, he is being hit. If he blocks right, I repeat the move until I can land a hit. It is never more than 5 to 6 hits attempts. The key is to move away instantly upon landing a hit, otherwise you will be hit by enemy. But once you know the move, you are relative safe to win. The third fight is 1v1 fight with shield equipped. Now there are different strategies here, like forcing enemy next to a wall, kicking, bashing, and so on. But the reality is that this fight can be very similar to the 1v1 two-handed fight. Move away and strike back. Try to aim head here, because when enemy moves, they hold the shield a bit lower. So although it seems that your sword will hit the shield, it will hit the head instead. Above the shield. And again, with a bit of practice, you can securely win battles like this. Especially once you have more armor. Well, that's all. I hope I could help to many people with these methods. If you like the content, the best and easiest way to support me is to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, or here. And don't forget, don't struggle, just have fun.